Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Throw your likes on there. Let's get this to 20 likes and let's jump into some Bitcoin analysis because that's what it's all about here on the channel. So let's start off with this liquidation heat map. Then we're going to go on to some on-chain stuff that's super important. Spoiler, not looking so good on that front. Uh, and then we'll go into the TA and the trades that I'm looking to highlight today and take. Uh, we're, we're gearing up for a long actually right now, so I'll explain that in a bit. But without further ado, let's jump into this. We can see here with the liquidations, yeah, we have just been violating this middle section. We talk about this a lot, but when these appear uh, and they're not like super strong here on a three day, then uh, yeah, I mean, typically Bitcoin likes to go and grab them or the market makers at least like to go and grab them and uh, liquidate those people, absorb the, uh, absorb the contracts, of course, and then bring price to where it was and they, they just keep that money, right? It's pretty crazy how these guys make so much money. But yeah, they just gobbled up another 100 mil there. Uh, we do still have some levels up at 61.6. So I think it's very plausible we get up there because we wouldn't even break our high here, right? So 61.6 is definitely an area we could uh, we could violate. And we could also get all the way up to 62k again, but this time it's going to be different, and I'll explain that uh, a little bit uh, later, a little bit later here, right? Uh, but without further ado, let's get into some on-chain stuff. We can see here the energy value for Bitcoin, all right? This is, uh, this is essentially the intrinsic value based on the mining network and electricity, blah, 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 hash rate, right? Uh, it uses an algorithm and it gives us a price. The main point is this line, right, when we're above it, parabolic, okay? Beautiful stuff. It's beautiful. Uh, we're right below it right now and it is heading down, which uh, actually makes the price lower. So if we do get one of these kind of compression times for Bitcoin and then we just explode afterwards, which typically we like to do when we consolidate in a bull market, then uh, yeah, I mean, the lower this is, the better. It just means we go parabolic after we hit it, right? So uh, yeah, fantastic stuff we can get above that. But currently, yeah, about 76.1. Um, yeah, a little bit lower than it was. It was like 81k before, but yeah, 76.1 now looking a lot better. All right, and then let's take a look at this on chain. Really, really bad here. This is the electricity consumption index for Bitcoin. Okay, so when this uh, is at the top, then usually we have the tops for Bitcoin. You can see right now it is pretty low down. If we go down to the three month, it is getting lower now, right? Before it looked like it may recover, but no, it is getting lower. So the, the miners are essentially turning off. The miners are essentially... Um, Managing their risk, I would call it, right? Managing their risk and uh, and turning off some of their machines, uh, hoping for the mining difficulties to come down, making it more profitable for them to mine Bitcoin at these prices, okay? Uh, besides that, yes, we have a, a finally a positive day of inflows on the ETFs for Bitcoin. Okay, we can see 7 mil yesterday, nothing crazy, especially when you look at the previous days, minus 270, minus 80, minus 60, minus 70. Okay, and we even, oh no, we didn't miss that one. That's uh, probably a weekend, right? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's not been great on the on-chain and the ETF side of things. Definitely smart money is getting scared right now. And uh, we have to be prepared for that. We have to be uh, conscious of that. Is that conscious? We'll just say aware of that, right? Uh, <laughs> we'll just say aware of that. Let's jump into this chart here because this is super important. And again, if you have got value from this already, be sure to drop a like on there. It helps me out a lot. Are you guys in the long yet? Because uh, I'm thinking about it. I'm really, I'm, my finger's over the button right now. There'll be a green button. I'm expecting us to come up test this trend line very, very soon. Okay, and that could be around 63.5. And uh, I, I wanna be in a long position when we do that, of course, right? Um, we are seeing the four hour volume weighted ATR band, this green line here, uh, being challenged quite a lot here. Every time we challenged it so far after losing it, uh, we have actually, uh, we've been rejected so far, right? So uh, yeah, challenging this again does help a little bit. We also have this three day volume weighted ATR band coming through, which uh, we are still holding above on this chart anyway. So Binance, for Bitcoin. If we look at the uh, if we look at the index here, which combines everything, we can see we're actually below it, and we're still fighting for it. So, uh, yeah, interesting stuff here. Depends how you really want to chart this, but I like to prefer Binance for these supports and resistances, just because if you have lots of different exchanges combined, it's going to mess up some of the indicators and get an average rather than an exact point, right? Uh, if we have Binance, uh, we know the liquidity is good. We know it's a major player in the market. We know the indicators are going to be good as supports and resistances because of that, right? So, uh, just that kind of boring stuff out of the way we can see here that yes we are trying to bounce on this three day which was expected if we do lose the three day basically 60,600 today it looks 
really, really bad, and uh, we could get a lot lower. Another thing I wanted to show you here, as we were talking about the on-chain, is hash rate is getting obliterated right now, okay? And um, short story here is when this happens, we get capitulation events, all right? And it's really, really bad for Bitcoin when this happens. And it does look a little bit like this right now. Let's just see where that is in the grand scheme of things. The previous run, okay, where we did fall off a cliff, right? So we tried to reclaim it, we fell off a cliff. And if we look at where we are right now, tried to reclaim it, fell off a cliff. So uh, yeah, not looking so great for Bitcoin on the on-chain on side of things. But uh, what I will say is there's always hope here and uh, we are at very, very crucial support. So buy pressure could step in at any moment here. What we are looking for here is a bit of a dump down, potentially down to 56 or 58K, that kind of area. Okay, one more little sweep of the lows and then I'm expecting to absolutely bang it from that point. Uh, not necessarily a bull market bang, but as we talked about, uh, we're looking for a grid bot essentially between 70K and, uh, and 55K, okay? And that is gonna be a wide grid bot. We're gonna have orders basically every two 2,000 bucks, okay? Think of it like this, all right? These are your orders. And uh, wherever we start, let's say we start here, right? We'll have, our, we'll have um, buy orders below us, sell orders above us, okay? And then as Bitcoin goes like this, right? And we're filling orders, then we just refresh those orders as soon as they've uh, been completed or the trade has been closed, right? That way, with Bitcoin expected to be volatile in this area, we will just gobble up all of the money, okay? We'll make copious amounts of cash here in this area. And that's pretty much the plan coming through, okay? It looked a little bit satanic, that drawing, didn't it? <laughs> uh, but yeah, if we are looking at this, we can see on the broader scale of things, we are in this ginormous, beautiful channel, okay? Um, and uh, yeah, if you do like this channel, be sure to subscribe to it. But um, we can see here, there is a massive measure move towards the upside. If this does want to break towards the upside anyway, uh, it will be ginormous. And uh, yeah, it would bring us all the way up to the 82K level, which is huge, okay? Okay, but this is more on the, the investment side. If you did want to invest after we break the all-time high, then uh, yeah, I mean, 11% there up for grabs. You can't hate it. You can't hate it. Uh, and then besides that, shorter term, let's just go down here again. Again, we're looking to reclaim this area, but you got to be cautious. you got to be careful. you got to be wary, all right? Because uh, yeah, we can get rejected at any time here. And my music is just so annoying right now. One second, guys. One second. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Actually, no, I kind of liked it. There we go. <laughs> Let's just turn it down. There we go. Beautiful stuff. All right, carrying on here. Sorry for the uh, lack of fluidity in the video, but uh, I just I do what I want. All right, I do what I want. I hope you hope you get the value anyway. Right. Um, if what we're looking for here is essentially to break this high at 62.5. Okay, and then bang it up from there. Um, does that kind of align with our targets here? Yeah pretty much like 63. So we're looking at like 2% trade here, potentially if we do break this high. Uh, and yeah, it would look pretty good from that point as well, mainly because ideally we have some kind of um, triangle structure and then we have a wave here, okay, in which we can get a measure move to bring us up to this level. So this could be the first wave up, right? Uh, and then we essentially look to, um, to pull back, break the high, boom, okay? That is the plan right now. But uh, yeah, pretty risky trade if you are going for that, of course. I'm just going for it based on the, um, the volume the volume weighted ATR bands on the four hour. Sorry, I just ate dinner, guys. You, you guys know how this goes. <laughs> I do this every video. But um, yeah, besides that, looking to break over certain trend lines here. This is actually a, a pretty decent trend line to break over. So we'll, we'll go for like 62K and then we'll look to get in here. Um, this is the hourly, of course. So uh, yeah, we want to close the candle above there. Boom, something like this. Break the high, get in, close it around these uh, mid to high 63s. And we can also see the 60 minute volume weighted ATR band coming in around this area as well. That will serve as a pretty decent resistance and a closed trade wherever it may be, all right? So that's, the, that's, that's a trade that I'm really looking for right now. Uh, if we do wanna come down here, okay? If we do wanna come down, uh, there's, there's two really aggressive trades you can take, okay? One of them I am looking at, okay? But this is the first one. The first one is essentially this, right? So if we lose this low here, we could pretty much expect to come down and test this 60 minute volume weighted ATR band just in terms of momentum. Okay, we've got this curl over. It would look a lot like a dead cat bounce here on the daily, okay? So yeah, everything would align for this to kind of come down here. And it, it, can, it can get saved here, of course, but there is also a trade that we can take along the way uh, throughout this momentum if it wants to, right? It's a 1% trade, can't really hate it. And uh, yeah, then from that point, I probably would expect to reclaim the four hour, okay? So yeah, many, many positions to be had here. There's one towards the upside at about 62.5, okay? All the way up to about 63.5. And then there's one towards the downside from about $60,000, uh, sorry, 60,600 down to about 
59,600, okay? And if you wanna go lower than that, extremely risky, very, very risky indeed. Uh, I probably wouldn't go for this, but I mean, this is the second trade I was going to talk about anyway, so we'll talk about it, right? If this does curl over here, right, what we're looking to do is lose the 60 minute. This is on a crashing scenario, okay? But we're, lose, we're looking to lose the 60 minute. We're looking to retest it, and then we're looking to break whatever low is made here uh, on the loss, right? So we come down, we retest, we break this low, we get in a short, we basically just ride this until, uh, until we lose the uh, 7 SMA on the one hour. So this little red line here, okay, so this will come down with us, all right? And then once we lose it, like we did here, okay, like we did here, then uh, yeah, we can be a little bit more cautious and expect the trend to end. So uh, yeah, that's that's probably pretty much, if it is a swan event and we get rejected here, right? Let's say this is a trap, this pump, as we are just banging it, look at this thing, beautiful. But yeah, let's say this is a trap towards the downside, then, uh, uh, sorry, towards the upside, and then we come down, then uh, this would be the crashing scenario edge that you want to use, right? We want to lose the 60 minute volume weighted ATR band. Okay, reclaim, oh, sorry, retest, lose the low. I'm, my words are everywhere today. And then uh, just ride that down until the seven SMA is lost or reclaimed uh, on the down upside, up downside. Okay, I do have one more thing to show you here, guys. And that is something I don't have up. So let me just get this going. Beautiful stuff. Uh, yeah, Patreon, Patreon. I need to view this as a, as a, Free member. No, I can't do that. All right, I'll just show you it. I'll show you it now, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm doing daily updates in the Patreon for free on Bitcoin as soon as I wake up here, guys. So uh, if we do just go to home here, right, on the Patreon, which is in the description, uh, these are the paid ones. Ignore them, ignore them, ignore them. Don't pause the video and get it for free, okay? I know what you like. Don't do it, all right? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we can see here, uh, yeah, free members update. We're doing this every single day where I just give you a little bit of analysis on Bitcoin and what I think's happening. Uh, it's just going to ease you when you wake up and you're going to say, all right, yeah, I know where Bitcoin is. I don't have to do too much thinking myself uh, and I can just rely on Hamilton for free, right? So feel free to follow the Telegram and it's for free, okay? Follow the Telegram for free and then you'll get one of these updates every single day on Bitcoin. Beautiful stuff. And then those of you that pay, uh, you get essentially minimum three signals per day as well, right? And the lowest tier is 10 bucks a month. So if, if you're interested in that, feel free. There is a hell of a lot of stuff on here, including indicators, okay? And then the next level up, even more indicators and eBooks as well. Got my uh, top 60 picks here. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna show this too much. We do have, uh, yeah, we do have stuff going on here. And you can you can also get these in uh, in in the YouTube as well. So feel free to find that. And uh, besides that, yeah, feel free to join the Discord as well, because that's for free. I, I want to provide as much free stuff as paid stuff for sure. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, this is a business. And, and uh, yeah, I want to I wanna essentially have this business make money so then I can do these massive giveaways or pay for promotion, grow the channel more, and then give away to the OG members in the Discord. And I can tell when you've joined and stuff. So uh, yeah, I mean, that would be cool to kind of reward the OGs, grow the channel a bit, do some giveaways. That's kind of my plan here with this business, but uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. If, if everything fails, I'll just keep continuing to make TA content because that's what I do. I love it. This is my passion at the end of the day, right? Uh, but yeah, just keep an eye on that. I haven't talked about this as well here before we do head off. Um, yeah, just watch out for that 60K region because uh, it could be an explosive bounce if we do head down there. All right, so keep an eye on this one. But um, besides that, those are pretty much the trades for the day. Have a fantastic one out there. I know you're out there, okay? Some of you that watch the channel, <laughs> have a fantastic day. Join the Discord for free in the description and I will see you uh, very, very soon. Cheers.